he quickly booked him into New York City's most popular rock and roll spot, Max's Kansas City Club. When Whalen took the stage, the audience was like nothing he had ever seen before. Uh, a lot of pop people and a lot of people who dressed about as weirdly as you could possibly imagine at that time. This is the 70s in the middle of the hippest part of New York. Whalen informed the crowd that he was from Nashville and would be playing country music. Then he got their attention. And we sure hope you like it, but if you don't like it, you better keep your mouth shut because we will kick your ass. And somebody said, well, who the hell are you? And, and I said, Waylon damn Jennings. <laughs> and then he proceeded to really do the most kick-ass set he had ever done up to that point. There's people in the audience like Andy Warhol and, and uh, the various rock celebrities in New York City, and, and they're all standing in awe of this guy slamming on the guitar. We got write-ups and, you know, in People magazine and just everything. It was, it was incredible what happened that week. Within a year of gaining artistic control over his records, Waylon Jennings had his first number one song, 